Make sure to stand till the end. If you keep driving your Fiat 500 with a bad catalytic converter, we can cause thousands of dollar damages. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Fiat 500. It could be any engine, gasoline, diesel, any year from year 2008 to year 2022 currently. We'll explain the symptoms of bad catalytic converter, how it can affect your car guys. And by driving it this way, you can actually uh, cause quite a bit of stress to your engine and it can cost you thousands of dollars to fix if not replaced on time. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these free videos and if you need to buy new catalytic converter parts tools check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our two supplies from and you can save a ton of money so with that being said let's explain what we have specifically here guys this is a fiat 500 abart that will be working on Today. Now the catalytic converter is located on the front side of the engine right behind the radiator fan If I come on the back side here check it out it will be right there So that right here is the catalytic converter guys Okay right there you have the downstream oxygen sensor which is located right after the catalytic converter To detect if the catalytic converter is doing its job So if you have bad catalytic converter what you can experience uh, less horsepower the car will not be so powerful because the catalytic con converter may be plugged in okay if it's plugged in clogged up it will not allow enough gas to come out that will put back pressure on the feeds on, on the on the valves on the engine and gas will not be able to move out quickly that can cause loss of power number two increase fuel consumption because loss of power you'll be giving it more gas okay the gas will not be able to come out that will generate more heat and you're losing fuel in the form of heat and not being able to come out that exhaust gas fast enough burning more fuel number three you may experience uh, like a rotten egg okay rotten eggs uh, or sulfur smell coming out of the exhaust it could be a sign of a bad catalytic converter next you may have black smoke coming out of the catalytic uh, out of the exhaust too black smoke could be a sign of a bad catalytic converter and uh, a fuel mixture running rich because the car will be putting more fuel you will be trying to go faster because you'll be losing power and that will cause rich fuel mixture and black smoke as well five excessive amount of heat if you feel like it's getting really hot right here okay hotter than it used to be and even in some cases i've seen a catalytic converter to glow bright red okay it could be because if it's plugged up so that's uh, the top five symptoms we see here at the shop if you keep driving with a bad catalytic converter that can cause more damage to the engine such as burned valves okay uh, uh, and uh, uh, other components as well can go bad due to the fact that that back pressure okay can affect the engine as well hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you next time